Right then guys, so we've got a couple of people in, but we'll start the show anyway because I've got quite a lot of stuff that I've sort of saved and collected and that I want to sort of try and get through. Um, today it's mainly STLs that I'm going to look at, um, but in the future I'm trying to, going to try and organise more miniatures as well but for today it's mainly STLs and it's not a bad time because they've not long added in their new monthly releases so we'll muddle our way through so the first one we've got um, this is the new monthly release from Witch Song um, I'm currently one of their tribers so they, they do an awful lot of good really good miniatures and it's a very cheap tribe to be on um, I think it's only about a dollar a month something like that um, but you don't they only do like one or two models a month okay so yeah here we go if you join there there's silver um, you just get the monthly model but they're gold, I think, which I'm drawing. Yeah, I am. It's only $3 a month. And you get, obviously, the welcome package, a bust, the model, 50% of their store. And I think they're the top, top followed tribe on um, my mini factory at the moment. So they're very good value. Um, this is their latest monthly release. So this is the discussion point. So, I think it's a pretty cool model, pretty dynamic. Um, I like the design a lot. Uh, their models are really quite, like quite cool and very painterly, I think. They're good models for display painters. You know, not so much on the gaming front, but for display painters, they're, they're really quite cool. They're very good. And they've got, they've got a good catalogue of stuff as well. So, anyone... Yeah, you like that one, Tony? Cool models. Yeah, the bases are always very cool as well. Um, but they, they get very good dynamic poses. I love the way they do the armour. Uh, the clothing's really good just really good models and if you're if you're someone on a tighter budget you know three dollars a month um, is pretty good value for what you get you know you get a real good quality miniature every month so yeah I agree you know I really like when a model comes with a really nice scenic base or a well sculpted base you know I, I'm not I'm not a lover of doing basing, so it's a godsend for me. I, I absolutely love them. So um, I think also this month, this model is available too, which is, again, you know, the base is fantastic. The weapon's superb. The wings are great. It's a great model. Reminds me a lot of, um, is it Azrael out of Diablo, this model? Very cool though, very cool. You know, lots of flowing robes. Yeah, lots of good painterly stuff on there. So, <laughs> yeah, me too, Tony. Um, it's not my strong point. Um, oh, that's no good, Carver. I hope you were gonna join us. Um, but yeah, the... I, I'm really one of those people. I, I've loved the 3D printing revolution because one, I hate cleaning mold lines and it's so much easier to clean supports off once you've worked out how to get them right. And I'm not a lover of basing either. So, you know, printing SDLs works absolutely great for me. It's a, I think it's a much quicker process of getting to the painting part, which I really love. So, and don't get me wrong, I've got a lot of admiration for people who are good at basing. 
So I'm just not very good at it. Um, here's another view of that, another version of that previous model. So as you see here, you can get it in the dynamic pose where he's striding forward on the scenic base. But you can also get him in a more upright pose. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's a different pose. Yeah, much more stoic looking, standing up on a, a much more decorative base. So it's pretty cool. I, I think that's, it's very good. It's really good value from Witch Song. So yeah, the wings are great. I mean, these are really cool. You know, as wings go, I think they've done a very good job of those. They're very cool. And here's another view of the first miniature I showed you from them. Um, I'm not very good on some of the names of these. I didn't have time to grab them all, but but we can see the miniatures and look at them. But this one's, yeah, it's very cool. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those that I look at and I, I think I'd like to paint that. I really would. So... Yeah, top top marks for which song. Great miniatures, great value, very good. And I guess this is why they are the top top one on my tribes. I think um, they're doing very well. So, and now uh, that's another view of it. I think the first. Yeah, it's just. Oh, I think I think this one. Uh, maybe there's different versions of it because this one's definitely got a closed mouth and yeah this is a different pose so I guess you get the two options I don't know if the hands are the same yeah maybe they are yeah I think you get two versions I think obviously this one's got the open mouth and the previous one has got the closed mouth but I think the rest looks the same so yeah, maybe it's got a two head option. So yeah, all around, great stuff. I think they're very good. So next up, the next one I picked out was Lord of the Print. Um, these I've always found I've, I've not subscribed to their tribe, but I've bought a few of their packs off of merchants. And some of their stuff I find really good. And some of it doesn't interest me too much, if I'm honest. You know, the big dragons and beasts and things like that are not really my cup of tea. But then again, the, the sculpting they do, some of it is really good. I find them some, you know, they have some packs that I've found really, really good, you know, and great models. And others I've looked at and thought, there's nothing that really interests me in those. But their sculpting level is really good. And the ones I have had from them have been really good too. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, Tony. And when I first looked at this pack, yeah, as you can see, it's it's dragons, beasts, monsters, and I, I thought very much the same. You know, like as this go, this this reminds me a bit of like the Carol Rudick type dragons, which is not a bad thing because they're very good. Um, but this this guy is very cool. You know, I do like this model. You know, the actual the the demon or whatever he is is very cool you know it's a good sculpt good pose nice little sort of diorama scene with the the dog thing the beast on a chain i think that's very cool you know i i would love to maybe get this miniature and take the dog and the chains off and paint him as he is with a sword or something would be really cool but yeah, it's good, uh, good sculpting. And then it goes more into, there's more of these beasts, like individual little beast models. And they're good, but you know, like I agree with you, Tony, they're not really my cup of tea. They're okay, but 
Yeah. The hell's that, Carver? I have no idea what that means. Please explain yourself, bud. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip through these pretty quickly. I mean, this, this one is really cool. You know, I love the face. It's really good. You know, and the pose with the, the dead beast body under it is really good. You know, that one I would probably consider painting, I think, because he's, he's pretty cool. But then it comes on, they've got some, I, I would guess they're sort of chaos warriors or wasteland warriors. And I, well, I'm going to ask you guys, what's your initial impression of like this model and the sculpting? Should have probably turned my chat bots off first guys, but sorry about that. Maybe I'll do that next time. Yeah, that's, I guess that's sort of along my lines, really, of some of these warrior ones, I, I find them a bit sort of blocky, a bit too many straight edges and blocky armor. I mean, some of this, like you say, does look straight out of the GW playbook. But I, I think it's a good miniature. I think it's cool. Uh, this one looks a little bit better. Uh, it's a bit more interesting, I think. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that, would I set out to buy them and paint it? I'm not so sure. But there, there is something good about this one. I do quite like this one. This one, probably not. It's okay. Um, but I've seen, they, they've done a couple of releases previously which have had more warriors and, you know, chaos guys in them that I think were a lot better, personally. I don't know if they're using the same sculptors, but something is lacking from these for me, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Again, this one, uh, the pose with the hand like this. Yeah, that one just doesn't work for me. You know, if this was different, it'll be better, I think. This one's okay. But again, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent, you know, jumping out my seat saying, yeah, I want to paint that. There's, um, yeah, there's, there's something not quite well. This one's okay, but again, the pose, I sort of question the pose of like this arm. And again, without seeing a 360 of it, it's hard to tell completely. Um, but this, the pose with this arm just looks wrong to me. Like I say, until you see the model or a 360 of it, it's it's hard to tell 100%. These guys are a bit cooler. So they've got these other warriors here that have got like uh, bandages or something over their heads. And they're, they're quite a nice idea, I think. But again, I'm not, I'm not super excited. This one's quite cool. I think this one is available uh, as a free download as well. One of these is, I think it's this one. And it is okay, but I think the armor, it, it just looks blocky again, like we said before. It doesn't quite, it doesn't quite sell to me, unfortunately, you know. Yeah, I think that's, I know what you're saying, Tony. I think I think it's good and bad. Like, 
sometimes I think it looks really good with big weapons on certain models but they have to really it has to fit with the model if you know what I mean um, but sometimes yeah it just looks too big and chunky maybe that's something to do with the 3d printing and trying to make you know like games workshop do you know all their stuff is usually overly big and it's it's I guess a lot of it is because it's made for gaming and they want it to last and be okay on the table I guess but I'm not a hundred percent sure so they've got also the the mounted versions of some of the models here as well and some of these look cool I mean the horse I think looks okay this model actually is probably one of the best ones in there I think this is pretty cool looking um, reminds me a bit like of the Frazetta type art with the pose and it reminds me of the latest Games Workshop Nurgle guy that's come out the old sort of swamp sorcerer whatever he is on the horse that was my first impression I got that but yeah the horse ones the mounted ones are pretty cool you know although it looks a bit static on this one um, but the, yeah, these are not bad, they're not bad at all. So, the next one we're on to, I just got to check who these are actually. Can't remember who they are. Oh, yeah, I got it. So, the next one we're on to is Claymore Miniatures, and I've just done a monthly subscribe to these guys. Um, they do some pretty good stuff actually they're not bad they're pretty good value um, I put a shot up here this is the welcome pack you get when you join Claymore and I think it's one of the better ones you get when you join some of these tribes I mean they, they've got an awful lot in the welcome pack which makes it worthwhile joining you know I think I as one of the mini my mini factory tribe people I got offered a free monthly subscription to these guys so when I saw the welcome pack I, I redeemed it you know really to have a look at the welcome pack and get one month's release just to see what it was like and the welcome pack is really good you know you, you can't see every miniature in here but there's some really cool stuff you know there's several bases uh, busts rather some monster type creatures, some good characters, some scenery. And I love the big old tree. I like that. So there's some really good stuff in there. Yeah, it's a good welcome pack. And I think one of, I'll, I'll talk about this a bit later in the show um, with a couple of the tribes or Patreons. Some of them, uh, and surprising a couple of them, their welcome packs are not very good. And I think they could, some of them could certainly do with improving. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you know, I can see from here there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten good busts in there. So, you know, if you're a display painter or you like that sort of thing, th these are really good to, uh, to join and get, get a you know, good few busts in there. Um, so this is the start of their monthly release. Um, so they've got some pretty cool characters. Um, some of their stuff, I mean, I, I, like, I like the basing type elements like this. The character's not my favourite, but he's pretty good. You know, they put a dice in there to show you the sizing, but I think the sizing is irrelevant to me because I usually upsize a lot of miniatures anyway. I don't really paint too many at the 28, 30 mil size. But he's a pretty cool character. And they sort of remind me a little bit, especially this guy, and a couple of the others, they do remind me a bit of the DM stash stuff, which again is not a bad thing. They're pretty good. Any of you guys like this miniature?
Oh, cool. Glad you like it, Tony. Um, so here's another one of theirs. And I think compared to the last lot we looked at, when you look at this miniature, it's much more sort of realistic proportions, I think. So like this character, for instance, is, is, is much more of a, a based in reality rather than fantasy scales. And I like this one. I think he's a pretty good good character. He's definitely one I would want to paint. Yeah, I I like a lot of the details they have. I mean, this top of the staff is really good. Really sells the character well, I think. Um, a bit plain on the base on this one, but that's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I, overall, I like this one a lot. He's very cool. My only concern is... The 3D printing is very thin, the sword looking. I think if you were printing this, uh, you know, that 28, 30 mil scale, you know, you're gonna have to be very careful when you remove the supports from this. And the sword is very, very thin, it looks. But it's a, a good mini, I like that one. So they've got some sort of, I've got to get a bit closer to see this some sort of creature here, a golem-like creature. Um, it's a bit sort of, meh, nah, nothing for me, this one. It's very sort of basic, and the base is very basic. Doesn't do a lot for me, that one. Anyone like that one? <laughs> I'm not sure, Tony. And without blowing it up to be a massive picture on my screen, it looks like, like I say, some sort of ghoul type thing. And I don't know, oh, it looks like he's got like two mouths there. Oh, that's what it is, yeah, it's like two heads that have split apart. So yeah, that's pretty, that's okay, that bit. When I first thought it, I thought I first saw it. I thought it was like bandage type things, but I can see now it's two. It's like two mouths there. This is a nose, and this is a nose here. So it's like two heads that have split apart or breaking out of the one head. Um, but the rest of the model is, yeah, a bit plain. So here's another one of theirs. This one's a little bit cooler. Um, I like all the feathery stuff and and the robes and the mask and that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty plain. And I think they've tried to do something. He's obviously standing on the rooftops of a building or something here. But this this could have been so much better. I think this could have been elevated a bit more and show a bit more roofing and a base. Um, and parts of the of the building would have really sold it much better, I think. Um, but the model's pretty cool. It's okay. Yeah, that's yeah. I feel the same, Tony. Actually, the the base has really let it down. It it, it looks almost like an afterthought. Let's just stick a bit of roofing in there. Yeah, yeah. The feathers are good. The feathers are good, uh, the whole costume, the clothing is really good. It looks like the base has got, um, the cape has got a lot of this feathering and stuff on. So there's a lot of good things about it. I just think, I agree with you totally, the base sort of lets it down a bit, which is a shame. But we'll move on. So this one I like, it's cool, it's a good character. Um, a lot of good things I like about it. The lantern's cool, the weapon's cool, the hat is very cool. I don't know what you call these things around the neck, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, Carver, no worries. You just hit loads of random keys, did you? <laughs> Phone got stuck in a bunch of gum. Ah, oh, that's it, a Gorga. I have heard that before, yeah. But this this is a cool model, I think. I mean, 
Yeah, I like the pose. I like what he's holding up. The, the, the coat is hanging really nicely. Um, the, ba the base, again, is a bit plain, but it's a good model. I do like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> good luck with that, Carver. So, on to another one of their models. Again, I, I like this model. I think it's pretty cool. You know, I think if I, I would want to paint this, if I, if I could upscale it to about, you know, 60 millimeters, 70 millimeters, um, I would enjoy painting this. There's a lot of good things about it. You know, I, I love the robes, I love the tentacles, the Cthulhu type thing. The hand pose is really good. Um, there's not a lot of room for basing on here, so can't really criticize that because of the robes. The staff is really cool. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah, the range is good. They, they have a lot of good variation and it, it reminds me a lot of like a good all round pack for D and D games. There's a lot of different sort of um, party members, characters, monsters, and things. Yeah, they're really good, actually. I'm I'm impressed with Claymore. I think there's always going to be when they put these releases out. You know, it's very rare you're going to like every model and find every model to be great. Um, but the majority of them, you know, are really good. And like I said, the welcome pack is. You know, really great value. They're, they're really very good. So, um, again, this is the next model, the Mad Hunter, which I I love. I really love it. You know, I'm I'm not too sure about this whip thing, but the rest of the model, yeah, it is Tony. Yeah, definitely. That's that's what I like about it. You know, but this this model is very cool. Lovely, I love the big hat. Um, the poncho thing is really cool, and he's he's dragging along a wolf head. So, what's not lot not to like? It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. I like that one. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure about. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me, I must say. Um, it's some some guy with just snakes coming out where his head should be. And yeah, it it doesn't really work for me, this type of model. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. But it's it's a variation I guess. Um but yeah, that, that doesn't do it for me I'm afraid, that one. That that would be a miss, that one. This one's pretty cool, I think. It's, yeah, there's something nice about it. It's not, it's not wowing me, but I think it's okay. But probably not my type of thing, if I'm honest. Um, but they, they've done something with the basing on this. It's not great, but you know, it's it's okay. I, th I think if the one the one overall thing, if if Claymore were to specifically ask me for advice, I would say do some better basing for them. Maybe their aim is to keep the basing simple and produce gaming miniatures, but for a painter, I'd like to see uh, better bases from these guys. And I'll, I'll do a bit of a comparison later. I'll, tell, I'll show you what I mean with one of the tribes I look at whose bases I love. But, but yeah, the, the bases could definitely be better. Most definitely. And again, this one from Claymore again, not my favorite. It's a bit weird. Looks like he's still got his umbilical cord hanging out. <laughs> which is different uh, yeah maybe Tony yeah maybe maybe sort of 
yeah, having a basing pack in there, which I'm not sure if they do that or not. But that that would be an interesting option to give different basing options, definitely. Yeah. But this one's very weird, not my cup of tea. Um, I suppose it's sort of more. Um, it reminds me straight away more of a Kingdom Death type thing. You know, very sort of dark fantasy that one. But that one's a miss for me. Um, and again, this one, you can see what I mean by the Kingdom Death comparison. This one reminds me of Kingdom Death quite a lot. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, the stuff of nightmares. I don't mind this model. I think this is quite cool. Um, whether I'd paint it or not, not sure. Not sure. Um, but it's quite cool. I quite like it. Yeah, I suppose it's not, not everybody's cup of tea, Tony. Um, I've painted a lot of them uh, before. I used to have a client I used to paint for who who had me painting lots of Kingdom Death stuff and some of it's good. Um, some of it is very, very dark, very weird though. And yeah, not, not everybody's cup of tea. Um, another one of theirs, The Watcher. Um, it just reminds me of like pumpkin head, but I know it's not a pumpkin head. Um, but yeah, not, not my favorite, this one. Although I appreciate the diversity in the pack. I think that's, that's something to remember as well. With these monthly packs, um, some of the guys like Claymore, they're, they're putting quite a lot of variety in there. So, like I said earlier, one, one of the faults I've seen in some of the packs is, you know, over the months I've been doing it, some of them, I don't like some of the themes of the packs. So you tend to get a lot of models and you think, well, I don't like any of these because they're all the same type of theme. So I guess having a variety is, is a pretty good thing. Oh, I'm just going to grab some guys. Hold on. Ah, oh, that's it. So, so yeah, so I think love it or hate it, it's probably a good thing to have variety in the models. So I think it's a pretty good thing. What do you think, Tony and Carver? Do you like the packs with more variety or the strictly stick to a theme like you know like this month is all demons or it's all rat men or something like that what do you guys think prefer the overall theme or would you like more like these dungeons and dragons type packs where you got a bit of everything Okay, yeah, yeah, so that's what I think, you know, variety is good. I, I like a bit of both, I must admit. Um, but when you get the variety packs like this, you're, you're not going to like every model, I guess. Um, so here's the next, next one of the, theirs. This is not bad, actually. I think it's pretty cool. It's, um, it reminds me a bit of like the American Werewolf in London. The first time I saw that film, there was a scene where the werewolf looked a bit like this, I think. It's pretty cool. It's got some chains around it and stuff, which is quite nice. And then this one, I think this is the last one of theirs. <laughs> yeah, I am, I know, bud. Yeah, I don't want to give too much away with that, but I am bloody old. Um, again, I think, I think there's, this is a nice idea. It's quite freaky. 
and it's obviously showing that it's a big monster by it's on the rooftops of this church or cathedral or something which is cool but it's sort of flat on the base i wish they'd have shown more of the building connected it would have been really good i think with that it's just these these spires towers just sitting on a flat part of the base it, it just doesn't sell it so much i think it sort of lets it down a bit but the if they'd have shown more of just maybe just the middle spire but expanding out a bit to show it as of the full more of the full building i think it really would have worked do you think that guys Uh, the the model the monster i think is a really cool design and yeah I, I like it i just wish the base was a little bit more expansive maybe i mean they could have made this a bigger base and had more of this cathedral thing you know like one of the wings coming out or something would have been really cool you know it's um it's a good model. So I think that's the last of theirs. Let me just check. Oh yeah, it is. So what's our overall feel with the this Claymore release? What do you guys think? Is it a hit or a miss? Yeah, I, I would say the same too. I would go hit. I think it's pretty cool. I think compared to the previous one we looked at, the Lord of the Print, I would sooner buy this pack this month. And it, it's not the same every month for every supplier, I know that. But this, this pack has a lot more appeal to me than the previous one we looked at. So we're gonna move on. So this is Titan Forge, which I've not bought any of theirs before, but I sort of like what they're trying to do here. So they've got three different streams of their release. As you can see here, they do the chibis, uh, the Titan, which is the fantasy stuff, and they do a sci-fi uh, release as well. So they're, they're batting on a lot of fronts, so I'm not sure if this is good or bad for them. Um, but I think bravo for trying to do these different releases rather than I'd sooner see it this way than doing a release that incorporates all the different ones and then you might only like fantasy and go, oh, well, I'm getting a load of chippy stuff. Yeah, so, which is cool. And you might just like chippy stuff, so... You, you've got a good option there. Um, but this is like a, a brief, big picture of their two main releases. Um, or the one main release I'm going to look at, which is the fantasy one, because I don't really go for the other ones. Um, but as you can see, the amount of models you get in this release is, is a lot. It's quite extensive, I think. And... When I see a release like this, my first concern is, God, are they, are they just gonna all be rubbish and quickly produce? But I don't think it's the case with these. What I looked at, the, they actually look pretty good. I, I quite like a lot of these. So here's the first one up, which I, I thought was a cool model, actually. It's like a, a vampire hunter on top of a giant vampire bat. And I thought that was pretty dynamic, pretty cool. Uh, I thought that was really nice. I like the bat, it's a really good pose. What are you thinking of this one, guys?
Yeah, I do. I think I think there's a lot of good stuff going on. I spent, you know, I love the old the vamp the witch hunters and vampire hunters, the Van Helsing type thing. It's very cool. And this lady, I love. I would love to paint this model. Really do like this. This one reminds me very much of the the sort of the sisterhood models from Mordheim. Don't know if any of you guys remember those. Yeah, I do. Absolutely love it. I've, I'm really impressed with their models. Ne I've never bought any of theirs before, but I might have to now. I like this. These type of models really appeal to me. But I, I would definitely print her straight away and paint her. She's, she's got a lot of appeal. So she's cool. This guy too, very good. I love the model, love the pose. <laughs> yeah, the un angry lunch lady, definitely. Yeah, she definitely looks a bit like that. Um, but this one I like. There's a lot going on. Anything with a book is good for me. I love books. He's got more books. He's got a good coat with tails. Um, yeah, he's got a lantern hanging down. Cool face. Yeah, he's very good. Again, I think my only slight criticism, and it's it's not a big thing, is you know the base could be a lot better, but there's a lot of models in this release, and they're they're very cool with detailed. So I'm not going to knock them for that. Um, these obviously take a long time to produce, but. Yeah, this one's very cool. I like it a lot. Again, like the sisterhood thing, I like this model. Good appeal. Not my favourite of the bunch, but I still think it's it's very cool, very detailed. Um, yeah, it's good. This, this would tie in very well, these models, with the, uh, the new Old World release from Games Workshop. I get that sort of... Um, Bretonian medieval type vibe from these which I like yeah but they're very cool they're very good again <laughs> yeah if ever I think it will eventually um, I like this model too good pose good action in the model yeah I'm liking this I, li I like the big hats They've got good faces, uh, good everything. They're really good. You know, they're very cool. <laughs> yeah, the hat looks almost like, um, it's like a, a witch hunter hat, but with like an old Dutch lady or something mixed with that. I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the earlier lady, I think, on horseback. But the horse is good. I do like the horse. That'd be pretty interesting to paint. It's got good mus musculature. Pretty cool. And I have never painted a horse. So that would be a good one for me to paint, I think. But yeah, she, she's very good. Yeah, I like her a lot. Yeah, the horse is great. And I think if I compare it back to, and I don't mean to keep dissing them, but the Lord of the Print horses, you know, I know they're a different type, but, but this is much more appealing to me. It's, it's really very cool. So, yeah, definitely gamer bases. Yeah, they're, they're very stock standard, very plain. Um, and like I said, I, I would love to see the, these on some decorative, maybe round bases. Maybe they come in the pack, I don't know. Um, but like I said, I can forgive them because there's so much in this pack. Uh, there's a lot of work gone into it. And it, you know, the, this is what we really want, isn't it? The models, the miniatures, they look great. So again, this one's cool. 
very good. The same character from earlier, I think, but just on horseback. Um, horse doesn't look quite so good in the face on this one, but it's still pretty good. It's not bad. But that one's not my favourite. Um, they've got the um, like the highwayman type characters in here as well. All pretty dynamic. The horse poses are pretty good, um, but pretty pretty basic figures. I probably wouldn't paint those, but I can see the appeal. Uh, yeah, they're really good, aren't they, bud? I mean. And there's a lot of them. I mean, look at look at all these like sisters or nuns. I mean, this is straight out of Mordheim, I think. I mean, there there's a lot of appeal in these. They're, they're really good. You know, I I love the nuns with the I love the ones with the flat hats on. Yeah, they they're definitely out of Mordheim. They look, you know, but they would fit great in uh, in games like that. Yeah, they're really very good. No, they're excellent. Again, you've got, these are good too. You've got like the highwayman, witch hunter type things. This guy's cool. He looks really good. And this guy. You know? Yeah, it was. I think it's one of their best, Mordheim. Certainly for setting and atmosphere, it was really good. But yeah, I, I would certainly paint a couple of these, definitely. So they're very good. And here's like um, like a, a regiment of them, and these are great. Look at these. Look at this guy with the beard and and all that, and the poses, and they're they're just fantastic. These are absolutely great miniatures. You know my. My hat's off to Titan Forge. They're, this is a great release, really good. I'd certainly say this is the best one we've looked at so far. You know, the, the amount of models and the, the quality of them is fantastic. Yeah, I absolutely love them. So, yeah, they're wonderful. And again, from that regiment, these look like the same upper bodies but on horseback and again these these look great i love them yeah I, I i would have no problem buying this pack and and painting quite a few of these models oh so yeah there's, there's a lot of good stuff and they also got i don't know if this is all the regiments they've got in there but another cool feature is these are all multi-part so you can chop and change the heads, you know, print the same head 10 times if you like. But you can mix and match the weapons and shields. Which again is, is really cool. Really, really very good. Yeah, bravo on this one. You know, they're, they're really, really great release. And they've also got these in there as well. They've got some character models here. And these, this one, I really like a lot. This one's pretty cool. Not so sure about the rabbit, but it's it's well made, it's well done. But I like this one. Very, very good. And there's her with, again, with all the multi options. I could see me painting her. I love the shield. The two axe version is really cool. But yeah, there's a lot of good things about these models. Yeah, yeah, female barbarians are great. And they got some like, like monster things in there. These are okay, I think they're okay. This one I quite like. It's pretty cool. Almost Yeti-like monsters. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really good. Really good release. Oh, they've got some scenery bits as well. So these are great if you're if you're setting up games and things like that. These these scenic parts are really very good. You know they're excellent. Yeah, don't mind them at all. So 
Right, so we're on to one of my favourites. As anyone who watches me knows, I paint quite a bit of arch villain games. Um, so this is their this month's release is Speak of the Devil Act Three, and like we were saying earlier, the difference with these ones is they're very much a themed release every month. So if you don't like demons and things like that, you're not going to like this release because that's all you get. You know, it's a blanket coverage of it's all demons or it's all rat men or. But I I like a lot of their releases. I, I even the themed ones I don't like so much. I still find you know one or two models that I really like to paint. So I'm a big fan of theirs. Um, and their sculpts are always really good quality. So and this release I've liked a lot. It's definitely my cup of tea. So um, now what I was saying earlier about these STL companies. I actually think the fantasy welcome package arch villain games do is actually not very good. I I, I didn't find much in their welcome welcome package that I really liked. And I would really like to see them update that welcome package and include, you know, one or two of the newer models they've done from each pack. You know, rather than what they have now. Um, when I joined them and I got the welcome package, I was quite disappointed. You know, the the monthly packs I got when I joined are great. I'm not knocking them at all, but the welcome package, I think, is lacking quite a bit. But that's that's my own personal opinion. And this is their sci-fi release which I'm, I'm not really into the sci-fi stuff so much but I just thought I'd show it you know it's again it's it's pretty good you know you get a lot of good models um, around a theme again um, they're not my cup of tea some of the models I've seen in their previous sci-fi ones I, I would paint there's a few especially one of the last ones the Gaunt I think it was they had some really cool ones in them, um, but their fantasy line I think is really good. Um, you also get with Arch Villain, they get a lot of crossover models. So they've just put this one out, which is a free download, which I think this is pretty cool. I've downloaded this and I might, I might have a go at this one, but they, they tend to do quite a lot of crossover with other companies. And yeah, they're usually pretty good. They're pretty good crossovers normally. So, and they also, every month, they have a monthly painting contest, um, which is pretty good, I think. And the prizes are always really good. So it's always a 3D printer, resins, more resin. So yeah, it's not bad. If you can win that one month, you'd have done all right, I think. So here's the first one from the release. Uh, this sort of, I think she's something like the first harlot or something. But the sculpt is just outstanding. It, it's just wonderful. Definitely appeals to me, my cup of tea. You know, a lot of details though. There's a lot of individual bits to paint, but a brilliant sculpt. If you look at, I really love Obviously, most of this is great, but look at her fingers, the pose of her hands, the pose of the model is great. It's really very cool. What do you think of that one, Tony? They, every release with the Arch Villain Games one, it's, I know it's a pack, you know, it all, these always come with a five, a fifth edition, you know, game pack and all that, and they're, they're, they're based around a scenario in a game, I believe, um, which I don't play, which I'd like to play, but 
their models always seem to be very good for painters as well. You know, all the detail in these sculpts are terrific, really good. It is very detailed, you know, but, you know, I'm, I'm painting one of them currently, which I'm doing YouTube videos for. Um, if you break them down into parts, you can sort of work your way through it. But the overall look of the model is terrific. It's very good. And there's the full, full pose of her. And like I was saying, the bases they do, they're always good too. I mean, the bases are great. Really cool. So, but when you see her, the you know the full model, full pose, she's she is stunning. Absolutely stunning she is, you know. But it's it's a lot to paint one of those. To to paint it at a high level is a, is a lot of work. And I I can fully understand what you're saying about too much detail. I I would agree with that. But if you're really wanting to paint a great model, you know she's worth the effort. <laughs> yeah. Now the one criticism, well. It's not a criticism of their models, but if you're listening to Archvillain Games, please stop duplicating the pictures on your my, on your tribe. It's so frustrating when you try to click through the pictures and you get this picture, and then the next picture is exactly the same picture, but without the flat base. No one cares, you know, just tell us it comes with the base and with a gaming base on the bottom as well. That that's all that matters. You know, but duplicating nearly every picture of this, then the next picture of this without this, is just pointless. And honestly, when you click on those pictures to look in the gallery on my mini factory, each of these takes four or five seconds to load. So when you're waiting four or five seconds every time to see the same model, but with or without this gaming base, very frustrating. So please stop doing that. Anyway, moving on, I've had my rant. Um, so this is another one of their demons. I've printed this one as well. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the pose, love the model, love everything about it. Just wonderful. My cup of tea. And with Archville and Gaines, they tend to have, they have about eight different types of model in each pack, and six to eight, something like that, and they tend to put four different models or poses of each type of model in each little bit they do so you'll get six to eight types of model like this one could be called Oshanti demons or something for instance and inside that folder you'll get four different models or different poses of that type of model so I like that as well I like that approach it, it's pretty cool uh, but this model very good really good again the basin is always good really very cool this is the one i'm painting currently on my youtube videos and love the model absolutely love it packed with detail uh, it's just superb it's really very cool um all the the muscle musculature, musculature the muscles we'll say are sculpted perfectly you know all the cloth the straps the everything about it is really really very cool yeah a great base and a great weapon it's really good i think oh no there's one coming up actually um but yeah again you know everything about it is really high quality sculpting and really good production arch villain games they're really good this one just wonderful Again, this model, if you like Wings Carver, you know, this is fantastic. I love the little tip things on the wings, um, but the pose and the look of the model is just wonderful. I must admit, I've painted this one, I've 
printed this one off, but I'm not a lover of painting wings. And he's got holes where the wings go in, so I'm actually gonna build, just sculpt stumps out as if he's had his wings broken off, because I just don't want to paint the big wings, because he's quite a big model. Um, oh, you got the ads, yeah, I forgot about those. Oh, have you missed models, Tony? Did you miss these ones? Oh, I've done that one. Did you miss this one? Ah, this one? Right, so I've just been going on about this model, which is one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah this, this model, I just, I love everything about it. I can't wait to paint it. So it's fantastic, superb. This one, again, really cool model. So well sculpted, you know, great, very. <laughs> okay, Carver, good to have you back. Um, yeah, if, I was just saying, Carver, if you like wings, some of the wings on these models are terrific. And these ornate sort of headdress type horn coverings they have really make these, these really are ornate. You know, they've got things all on their tails, on their horns, on their wings. They've got these things on the corners, the weapons. They, yeah, these are like... These are what I call like posh demons. These ones, demons who have got, you know, lots of money. You know, they, they've adorned themselves with lots of ornaments. Uh, well, at the max about two to four. A lot of them come in one part. Like, um, I think this guy comes in the weapon, the main thing, the base, and each wing is separately. So you've got maybe five parts in that. This one is the same. The weapon's separate. The wings, each one is separate. And the thing, but I think most of the card, the tail is attached normally. So you can print most of it off in one, one bulk. But the weapon hand is normally separated, I think. But which is cool because they're all interchangeable as well. I've changed one or two of the weapons with different ones that I've got because I prefer a different weapon, so that works really well. Um, again, love this one. This looks like the the Baphomet or Baphomet classic demon, but he's, he's very cool. And they've got some really, really cool ones coming up I'm gonna show you, so. Um, so here's some of their, they have some smaller ones in there. So those ones I've shown previously are all 50 and 75 mil characters. So these ones, this one is more of a, the 28, 32 mil. But I printed this one, I, I scaled it up a bit. But quite, I really like the pose, like the body. Um, yeah, I really like that one. It's very cool and a good base again. This one, it's okay. Not my favorite, but I just thought I'd put it in there to show you that they do have, you know, lots of different models in this range. This one's okay. Yeah, she does almost look like she's dancing, but she doesn't have great appeal to me. This one I think is very good. I'm not a lover of the wings. Again, if I if I was going to do this one, I'd probably do it without the wings. But the pose of the model and the base, and the look of her here is really good. I think it's really cool. Yeah, she's, she's got a big appeal to me, that, this one. I like it a lot. But yeah, the, some of the wings, I'm not a lover of wings, but I, the other ones with the feathery wings, I think are a lot better than these. And again, this one, not a lot of appeal for me, but it, it's part of that little mini range within the range 
but I think the weapons almost look too big on this. The shield doesn't work for me. Um, but it's okay, but I prefer the previous one, definitely. Uh, now these, these ones are odd. I'm, yeah, they, they've got these sort of, these are like riders. They ride these sort of half bodies. And I've tried to look at these several times to work out exactly what they are. But it's like this headless body. So it's got arms and legs, but it's sort of bent over backwards. And I guess it runs along on the legs. But it, it's quite an odd, odd design. When you first see them, it's hard to work out what exactly they are. But I suppose it's a cool idea. And it's got the body thing, this thing, has got really cool hands, look. Really long nails and all that, but I'm not sure if they're that much of an appeal to me. I don't know what you guys think. To put it bluntly, that was sort of along the lines. Yeah, I agree. This, I, I think it's cool that they've tried to come up with something different, and I applaud that. But not sure this really works for me. Um, there's another one of them. And as you can see, it, it, it almost looks like this is one figure. But this is the smaller figure riding one of these bent over backwards things. So, yeah, it's a bit odd, they're a bit odd. And then you can see it a bit cl more clearly now. I'm not, I don't think they've got a head, this body thing. But yeah, the, the actual riders are pretty good. They're pretty cool. But on these things, like I say, it's, it's really nice to see something different, but I'm not quite sure that they work. But I may be wrong. Yeah, th this is quite a clear picture of one, look. So you see how this thing is sort of bent over backwards, but I, I sort of struggle to work out the logistics of this thing would be moving forward, running on these legs, but bent over backwards like this. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah there's something not quite right about these. It would almost be better if these things were like, had another set of legs instead of the arms coming out the back. So you could actually see it as a, like a walking, running creature. But I think when I look at it, like bent over backwards like this with the arms, I just can't see how it would move very well. I know it's fantasy, but I'm being picky. But yeah, there's another one of them. I'll skip through those. So they've got the other part of this range, they've got these big brute type monsters as well. And these have, these all have a little human, uh, I, I don't know if it's a familiar or a wife or what, but I love this idea of these big giant demons and they've got like a, I don't know whether it's a concubine or a slave. They look quite willing though, they're like quite cuddly. Um, so I take it it's his, his partner or whatever it is, I don't know. But yeah, I do, I do like these models. They're, they're, they're a cool idea. So. Again, it's, it's all very ornate. All the stuff on it, the armor's really good. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I do like the idea of having these people or these women with them. See, this one is just such a cool pose. You know, and he's grinning away, which I quite like. And he, his little woman is reaching out to the, 
the guy who's been shackled to his weapon here. So it's a very cool pose. And the base is cool with the bodies like dragging themselves out of the water or whatever they're doing. Very, very cool. What do you think of those ones, Tony and Carver? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe he's gonna batter someone else to death with a body attached to his weapon. But I do like the way this girl is on him and stretching out for something to the body. That's really very cool. Yeah, I, I like these a lot. I may paint this one. Although the only thing is I don't like the weapon, I'd probably change the weapon. Don't like this bludgeon mace type thing. But the rest of it, I think is really cool. It, it's excellent. So, yeah, I love that. And there's another one too. This one is very cool as well. You got the woman down standing at the front. She's really cool. Very cool model she is. I like the way she's got her hand up holding on to him or whatever. But again, really cool model. Very good. I think these are about a hundred mil. So I, I probably wouldn't paint it, print it that big. But these are they're great models. And this is the oh, this is the same one as earlier. I think yeah, it's the same one. So we'll move on from that one. And then there's some other types of demon models they have. These are just a variation, but again, they're pretty cool models. These are not my favourites. One of these I really like, I've printed out. Um, yeah, sirens. Yeah, that's probably more the word for it. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I think, I think there's a nice bit of storytelling in these, these models. I mean, there's definitely a good you know, storytelling element. You can come up with all sorts of things like that, mermaids, sirens, you know, is she his wife? You know, is she, uh, is she a slave? Is she a prisoner? Yeah, I think those models are really cool for that. So, yeah, the, these ones, I think are a, they're a lot less ornate. They're more like, I suppose, your warrior, basic demons in the set. But a couple of them are really cool. Oh, here's another one of those ones as well that's got in there. This one is very, very cool. You know, how she's sort of holding, he's holding her like this is really cool. And it looks like a similar base with things dragging out the water or the land. But yeah, this one, yeah, this one could be one I paint. Definitely. Yeah, I like it a lot. These almost remind me of the, the Oni demons or the Oriental demons with the face masks and that. Yeah. Yeah, succubus. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I, I never even noticed that actually. I think you're probably right. Yeah. But they haven't got the wings. But it, it's very, very cool. The concepts are really good for these. They're very good. Another one of these lesser sort of demons. Again, these are not my favourite. They're okay, but not my favourite of the pack. This one I like a lot. I've printed this one. He's very cool. Um, I love the pose, love the way he's holding up a half body that he's probably ripped in half or something. Great face, you know, big open maw, you know, lots of teeth and yeah, very cool. I did print this one, so I've got this one to paint. I do like this one. Yeah, much much less ornate. I, I would like to have seen a bit more on the axe here, because it's quite plain. You know, at least a sharpened blade edge and a solid weapon, but yeah, that's being picky, I think. I can always change that if I want to. But yeah, I, I do like this one. Fantastic. This one's cool as well, very cool, like this. Love the big mask and the armor and the, the big glaive type weapon. 
Uh, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, again, all the bases are really cool. Yeah, all, they, they usually work really well, all their stuff. And then they have, every month they have the Archvillain Society. So there's three models always. I'm not exactly sure the meaning, but it's like the the other character type packs or hero characters they have. So this is the first one in the pack. I think she's pretty cool. She's a nice idea. I like the whole face mask thing, the the hat, helmet, mask, whatever it is. But yeah, she's pretty cool. Oh, maybe Tony. I've not heard that. I, I found the ones I've had crack, and I know this for a fact, are the ones which I've hollowed out. And because I don't have the full license of lychee, I have to do my hollowing and holes in chitu box, or shitu box, I should call it. And sometimes it just will not put holes in. You know, you hollow a model out and you try everything to put a hole in and it just won't put a bloody hole in. And I've made the mistake of printing models hollowed, but without the holes. And those are the ones where the resin gets trapped inside. And I don't know whether it's expansion or what, but they just then crack or it leaks. It finds a little hole and I've got several on my shelf up here that have just leaked. So yeah, I'm, I'm the same now, Tony. I print solid now. Any character model or something, I just print solid now. You know, I, I was being a bit of a tight ass before trying to save resin, but it's just not worth it. And all the solid ones, I have no problem with. No cracking, nothing, it's great. Um, the only thing I'll hollow out is if I've got something like a base like this, which is really big, I'll, I'll, I'll hollow it out. And if I get holes in it, it's great. But if not, as soon as I get it off the printer, I get the drill out and I drill holes in the bottom and make sure I get all the resin out and then, then they're fine, you know. Um, yeah, so this is the second character from the arch villain thing. Most of it I like, but I just, I'm not sure I like his head very much, the face. But the rest of it, I think it's pretty cool. It's not bad at all, actually, not a bad model. So I don't mind that. And the third one is like this, almost like this heavenly knight character, which is okay, but it's not a huge appeal to me, that one. Um, it's, it's okay, but would I, well, will I print it and paint it? Probably not. Um, but what I will say is a lot of their previous packs, a lot of the Archville and Society models have been really stunning. They, they've done some really good ones. I've actually printed quite a few of those. I really like them a lot. And that's it for the Archville and Games ones. So what do we think of hit or miss for the Archvillain Games pack, guys? Yeah, same for me, a solid hit from Archville and Games. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's very few of their packs I haven't liked. And like I said, even the ones, um, they did one a few ago, which was Hordes of Wrath, which was all like Chaos Warriors and things like that. And not a lot of those had a great appeal to me, but there was three or four models in there that I, I printed and painted that I actually really liked. So even in their worst packs, in my opinion, I still always find several models to paint, but but this release, uh, there's so many I like and that I want to paint. It's really very good. 
So yeah, same for me, definitely a hit. Well done Arch Villain Games, great release. So we're now on to DM Stash, or Dungeon Master Stash, I guess it stands for. Um, this is an overall of what you get in the pack, I think. It's not a very clear picture, um, but we'll try and move on. Oh, this is the release. So I think previously, oh yeah, this is their welcome pack, I think, and again, yeah, I, I put this this picture in there just to show a comparison with the Archville and Games one. You know, their welcome pack is huge. You know, and I, I've joined DM Stash before and I've got this welcome pack and it took ages to download because there was so many models. So, you know, round of applause for them. Really good welcome pack. And there's so many good models in there. They're, they're really good. So well done them. Um, this is their monthly release this time. Again, shows you get a full um, expansion, excursion, whatever they call it, of a 5e campaign. And looking through the pages of it, it's really well done, really well laid out, and it, it looks really cool. So, this is the models you get this month. I can blow that up a bit. Not huge amounts in there for this month. They, they sometimes have some very big releases, but I think the thing is you get this big dragon and a big piece of scenery in with this month, so they've filled it out quite a bit with that. Um, and yeah, here's all the individual models. Not a bad selection. And again, like we talked about earlier, You've got some pretty cool variety in here. You know, you've got monsters, you've got a dragon, you've got plenty of characters, um, some beasts here. But you've also got some different humanoid monsters rather than just, you know, warriors and adventurers. So, good variety. Um, and we'll, we'll work our way through them. Yeah, that's what their game pack looks like. And I think this is really cool. I mean, it's a really good looking book or booklet, whatever you got. And if you're a and d player, I imagine this, this looks cool. You know, very appealing. So, yeah, I like, I like the look of that. Um, so this is the first of their models. Uh, Eramis, the Fighting Fiddler. You can make all sorts of connotations out of that title, I suppose. But, but I think he's pretty cool. Good looking bard character, you know, a strange sort of pose where he's walking and bending over, but I think the model's really good. Their sculpting, DM Stash, their sculpting is always really good. It's really crisp. Um, they do a lot of humanoid figures, a lot of elven stuff, which is not usually a great appeal to me, but I will say their sculpting is really good. I've painted a couple of their minis and they come out looking really good. They're excellent. Uh, one of their busts, again, very much an elven looking figure. But they always do these really ornate bases. They, they put a lot of time and effort into the bases. So they're very, very cool. You know, yeah, I like those a lot. I've painted one of their album busts before. <laughs> well, <clears throat> uh, I don't really want to say on, on air, Space Pants, but I'm sure you can imagine what a fiddler would do. Good morning, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much, bud. Um, so yeah, you know, moving on, they've got beasts in there. This is pretty cool. And I, again, I really like their basing. You know, they do do some cool bases. I like this little bit of extra effort for a base. Very cool. Not a bad beast model. Not sure I'd paint it, but I think the model's pretty cool. This character I really like. Um, it's their version of like an orc character. But yeah, I really like really like this model you know I love the staff with the 
skull totem thing on the top and yeah he's really really cool yeah very good model I think there's another one of him as well oh yeah this one yeah what a, a very cool model you know I, I quite like models sometimes in this stoic upright pose you know I like them to be dynamic as well but I really do like this sometimes as well I like the way he's holding this beast's head or skull yeah very cool and quite a different type of orc type model as well almost looks like a, like a monkey type face but yeah you can see the detail it's very good yeah I like that tool uh, a lot rather that appeals to me you like that one Tony? Yeah, I thought you would. Um, so he's a cleric model that they do. Again, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's female. It looks female to me, but the breast plate doesn't indicate any breasts. So I'm probably wrong on that. But yeah, I quite like this one. And again, cool base, really nice base. Well done, DM Stash. We like that. Um, but yeah, good dynamic model this time. And again, you've got a good mix of dynamic poses and stoic poses, like I said before. <laughs> Wookie Orc. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, that one's pretty cool. This one I like. I like this one quite a lot. Again, really good base with these foot lift up. A book always good to have books on a model and a pretty cool mask pretty different so yeah I like that one yeah a lot of appeal in that one very good indeed so yeah like in that one um, this is their sort of ancient ruins piece I think this is really cool this would actually make a really good display base for a model that's why I put, put this in there I, I saw that and I thought you know, if you if you had a miniature in here, you know, it, it, it's like a big hand, this thing. Like obviously some big stone model or something or some ancient robot thing. But yeah, wouldn't it be cool to have a miniature in here uh, as a scenic base? It'd be really cool. What do you think, Tony? Carver? Space Pants? Could you do that as a diorama? Yeah, it, it really could, couldn't it? I'm not sure what models you'd put on there. Uh, when I first saw it, I imagined, um, I've been looking at a couple of models of like the Monkey King. You know, the uh, the Monkey King models from the, um, yeah, Campfire, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, I can see what you mean, yeah. But yeah, I imagine, uh, one of the Monkey King models would look great in here. I've actually seen one or two of him where he's standing on a podium, like on a column, and I imagined him on one of these would look really cool with another miniature here. So yeah, that could be something I think about. Uh, another one of their models that I think is really cool. See, this model I love. Really, very different, really cool. I do like his big gap wide teeth there as well. I'll zoom in and show you that. See, it's like half Minotaur, half Barbarian. But very cool. Yeah, he, he definitely appeals to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Not Not every model I love, but the bases on nearly all of them are great. And there's certainly, like I said, if I bought this pack, 
there'd be a lot of them I'd want to paint. So they appeal to me a lot. Uh, got like a shield maiden character here. Very ornate, lots of details everywhere. I guess she's a very sort of painterly model, I think. Um, she doesn't appeal to me a great deal, but I could be swayed. She's pretty cool. But lots of, so well sculpted their detail. It's really very cool. And here's one of their, their beast things. It's a bit mislaid, oh yeah, it says flying serpent, but there's no wings. So I'm not quite sure how it flies. Maybe these things are like bat, bat wings or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice, not bad. And now they've got another sort of Drakari type or something like that model. And again, it's pretty good if you like that type of lizard man type thing. It's pretty cool. Again, really good base. Um, I wouldn't want to paint this. It's not my type of thing. But I could see the appeal for people who do like that. Yeah, flying squirrel. That's what I was trying to think of. Where they open their arms and the wings come out from the arms, maybe. Uh, yeah, some sort of champion here. This this one doesn't appeal at all to me. Sugar Glider. Yes. Yeah, this model I just found sort of quite boring. Just does nothing for me at all, this one. But it's in there. The turtle thing. Again, really good base. You know, it's better than seeing this thing just standing on a flat base, definitely, but it's okay. This one I actually really liked. I mean, when you look at, you know, when we talked earlier about one of the, uh, one of the tribes, I mean, when you look at, I mean, this model is pretty cool, I think. A bit similar to the Witch Song one we saw earlier. But when you look at the detail that's gone into the base with the tree and all that, it's just really cool. I just really like that. And the model is pretty cool. Looks like a lady, you know, panthera type model or lady cat model. But, hey, Mrs. Brushmaster, how, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I know she is, but she's away again today. So she's she's viewing from somewhere else. Um, but yeah, this this model is a lot of appeal. I like this one a lot. How about you, Tony Carver? <laughs> and then we got this guy. Nice idea. Pretty cool. This looks like he's got the Phoenix Lord or something, the Phoenix behind him. He's obviously coming out of him because he's got the fire and stuff coming out of his hands. And he is a pyromancer after all. But yeah, it's a pretty cool model. I like the idea. So, yeah, a lot of fur. Yeah, that can be sometimes difficult. Yeah, lots of tiny brush strokes. Um, then we've got another one of these orc tribal guys. I quite like these. This is not my favourite one of them. The pose looks a bit odd. Like this body looks like it should have been back this way a bit. But it, it's still a cool model. Yeah, I know what you mean. Maybe it's separate, Tony. I'd say that it might be something that's behind him. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. got their big dragon I say as, as dragons go it's pretty cool 
Not bad at all, but dragons are not really my thing. I'm not a dragon lover. But if you like dragons, this, this looks a lot of it like the traditional green dragon pose. And the base is really good. It's obviously got a different type of head. Yeah, not, not appealing for me a great deal. So that's DM Stash, guys. What are you all going with that pack? Is that a hit or a miss? What do we think? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I would go with a hit too. I think, yeah, as a painter, I look at that pack and there's a lot of models I'd want to paint. There's a lot of, there's a bit of fodder in there that I just wouldn't even download. You know, like the turtle and things like that, and the dragon, I wouldn't even download those. Um, oh, Zelica, I thought you'd have forgotten about that by now. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my wheelie guy model instead. You can have that for free. How about that? No, oh, you won't, Mrs. Brashmaster. You're going to be banned from all computers and phones if you're going to start selling my gear from under my feet. Um, yeah, I, overall a hit for me. And I think, it's like I say, if <clears throat> a lot of these tribes, I think, you know, when you compare them, you're obviously going to look at good and bad points. And the one thing, I, I like a lot of DM stash models. They're really good. Some of them are real misses for me, but I do like that nearly every model they build with a really cool base. You know, I think, you know, same with Archville and Games. You know, those, those two companies, they, they make fantastic bases with their models, and that's, that's always highly desirable for me, and I, they have a lot of appeal for me. So, yeah, bravo to them. They're really cool. So it's a hit, definitely. Right, so we're on to one of my favourites. Yeah, I agree with that statement, Tony, totally. I think, you yeah, know, they're not only thinking of gamers, but they're thinking of painters as well. So, you know, that, that's a really good plus for me. I, I like that a lot. So one of my favourite companies is Bestiarum Games. Now... And I fully understand these won't be everybody's cup of tea because they're quite what I would call dark fantasy. There's definitely elements of kingdom death in these models. Um, but they're also just so cool, some of them. They really... I've painted quite a few of theirs because I think they're really cool. But I put on here as well, again, I was talking about the welcome packs. Um, this is the one you get from Bestiarum Games. And it's really one of the best welcome packs, I think. I'll try and zoom in to show some of these models. But you just get such a good selection of models in here. I mean, this guy, you know, the, the sort of hunter guy with the wolf is really cool. The wizard's quite cool. This character is actually really good. But then you've got this giant barbarian dude who's really good. Um, the giant barbarian dude on the beast he's slaying. This is a model I really want to get. I love this. Look how cool that is, how dynamic it is. And the beast with its mouth open. Fantastic. Um, you've got a lot of these sort of smaller characters, which are okay. You know, a guy on the stakes here. This model I really love. I want to paint this so much. I saw... A version of this at the Resin Beast competition last week and it's wonderful this model really love it but this is the Rise of the Jailer stuff so it's quite gory and then you've got some from Burial Isle and again the models are just really cool this female model here is brilliant 
There's another tall demon type model here. So yeah, really good welcome pack. So again, well done Beestrom. I really like that. So, <coughs> um, <coughs> we don't discuss that, Tony. Um, I, I decide solely on my purchases, but I, but I have stopped buying stuff now. <laughs> because I've got so many. Um, it's very addictive though, I must say, you know. Um, so yeah, so if you join Bestiarum this month, this is what you get. So they've now got this range of $1 heroes. So I think you can just buy each of these models for a dollar, which is great value. You get the Prism Break, break Set, which is, it's not massive, but it's pretty cool. Some Penitent Heroes. The Houseborn release is also this month, and you get their RPG models. So there, we was talking about caring for the customers. You know, Beast Durham are trying to really give good value and good variety for people, so I like their models a lot. Um, this is part of their Prism Break set. And again, it's not huge. This is the one, I was a bit disappointed with their release this month. It's not as comprehensive as the previous two months, which were really good releases. But, and they haven't got any individual pictures up yet of these models, so it's quite a limited number of pictures. But I must say, the couple of models in here, I absolutely love. I love chubby fat boys for models. If anyone's watched me paint, you'll know that. But this guy, I think, is terrific. And when we were talking about the over detail in the Archvillain models, this is the opposite, but such a good model to paint. I love this. <laughs> yes, well said, Mrs. Brushmaster. See, I've got her trained, guys. And this model here as well, I think is really cool. But this guy, with the big helmet thing on with the spikes, like he's like a battering ram. I just think that's so cool. Really, really very good. Yeah, they're great models. What do you think, Tony? Because I'm sort of not sure these would appeal to you so much, but these three models, this one's pretty cool. These ones are just fodder. But these three models alone are just terrific, I think. <laughs> yeah, I must say, Tony, I'm, I'm quite brave with what I say when she's not here. Because she'll forget by the time she comes back. So I'm pretty safe. But yeah, what do you other guys think of these models? Do they appeal to you, this sort of dark fantasy range? Or would you prefer the traditional D&D &D style models? Yeah, I do too, Zelika. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, well said, Mr. Space Pants. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I definitely dig these too. And of all the company's previous releases I'd like to get a lot more of, it's probably Bestiarum. I really like a lot of their, their dark stuff. It's, it's very cool. So here's their sort of Hellspawn release as well. And if someone tells me this is not a copy of Angron, I'll be surprised. <laughs> this just looks so similar to the, it reminds me so much of the GW Angron model. Do you guys see that or is it just me? Oh, cool, Zelika. Well, we'll have to get some dark fantasy stuff going then, won't we, bud? I painted a few of theirs, and yeah, I just love their models. They're so good. So does anyone else see Angron in this? Yeah, me too. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, I thought, Oh God, is that Angron? But yeah, so 
I certainly think if you're a, a Warhammer player, you could certainly use this as a, a proxy, couldn't you? Nah, that's very true. That's very true also, Zelica. Um, but yeah, apart from that, these other models are not a big appeal to me. So again, a bit disappointing this month. Um, but there's certainly four of the models that I would definitely love to paint. And then you've got these Penitent Heroes, which I quite like. This, this girl is pretty cool. Very similar to some of their earlier models. I always like the spiky wrist Wolverine things, are really cool. And this model is very cool. But again, very similar to some previous models they've done. Um, but not bad, not bad. Um, so here's all the models in Prison Break. So there are more. So we'll have a bit of a closer look. So this model's pretty cool. I like this one. He's not bad. I would, I would consider painting him. Uh, oh, there's more up here. Sorry, I missed some. Yeah, these are fodder. I wouldn't paint those. This guy I like. He's pretty cool. But this one, really very cool. I love that model. I love his face and his head. Even the Klingon type weapon, really good. They're very cool. Okay then, bud. These are pretty cool. This model's good. I like this one. This one's good. Ah, this dude. Oh, he's just wonderful. The Iron Juggernaut. I love that. Just such a great idea. Great model. I'm, I'm going to have to buy this pack to paint that model. So, and they've got some other sort of fodder type models. This one's pretty cool. And this one's cool. Oh, in fact, I'm changing my mind. This one's cool. This is a good release. I think they should have shown more of these pictures on their main picture. Because, yeah, these three I like. They're cool. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, the... Um, the Iron Juggernaut guy is huge. But yeah, they're, they're good. And you get all these. So they, this is actually a very good feature. They've got all this dungeon scenery, uh, the prison stuff in there. And I guess all this modular stuff you could build, you know, buildings and rooms and for playing the games and that. That's really cool. I quite like the hangman's gallows and things. And the columns are good. Yeah, the scenery elements, yeah, they're excellent. They're really very good. So, yeah, I'm actually changing my mind now. So, looking back, um, yeah, between all this, there's more models in here than I thought that I'd like. Now I look at them closely. There's definitely one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine maybe 10 there's nine or ten models there i'd definitely like to paint so that's that's a that's good i think that's really good but i do really need to get this guy i want to paint him definitely right so that's that's the bestium one rounded up guys so what are we going hit or miss what do you think Yes, yeah, me too. I thought it would be for you, Tony, because I know you're not you're not really into the dark fantasy stuff, which I get. Um, but this I've tried to do a bit of a cross appeal of things with this first show tonight. So, but I think it's a hit for me. I think now I've looked at those again. There's a lot of those models I'd want to paint, and I mean, really want to paint. You know, they the large appeal for me. Some of those. Um, and that release, to be honest with you, this is not as dark fantasy as they normally do. So this is more, this is less dark fantasy than they normally do. So it's probably more appealing to different people, I think. But yeah, a hit for me, definitely. Yeah, I, I like Beast Durham. Very good. Right, so this is an interesting one. 
right? So this is, you've probably all heard of Creature Caster. Um, they've been in the miniature space for quite a while and they've always done a lot of, you know, resin cast models and they're always, they've done some really good models. They're, they're brilliant, Creature Caster. Um, so they, they've recently got into doing STLs, which from what I understand is a completely different line from what you can actually buy as resin cast models. They don't do these as resin cast. These are only available as SDLs. And the resin cast models they do are not available as SDLs. So they're very much a different line, a different range. Um, but again, this is their welcome pack. And it's actually really good. These Reavers, especially uh, scavengers rather, I mean, the leader guy is really cool, really good model. And it's like older guy, um, more like assassin type guys. Um, but they're, they're a really good release. I, I did subscribe to these. And I unsubscribed as well. So, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why, so in a minute. But the welcome pack you get from Creature Caster is really good they're really good models um, so this is their July release um, and, and I have to say if you're paying the same price as Archville and Games Bestiarum and DM Stash Lord of the Print and you know especially compared to um, Titan Forge we saw earlier this is all you're going to get one two three four five models right and the bases are pretty plain pretty ordinary this guy's pretty cool but honestly my first thought when I saw this release was uh, it's a bit sparse you know I, I like some of the models are not my favorite but to only get five models and i might be wrong oh i think you get this one as well this one is very cool but even and this one right so you're maybe getting seven models for the same price as you're paying arch villain games and uh Places like Titan Forge, Cast and Play. So I'm not, I'm not sure the value is at the moment. It's as good as other tribes. Now they've done the first release they did was the Barbarian release, which was incredible. Um, I've painted two or three of the models, and I've got all the rest printed out, ready to paint. And they're some of the best barbarian models I've ever seen. Um, you've probably seen the one I've put up with the guy holding the two big blue flame things. They're incredible models. And they then did a, a release of goblins that were again, really quite good. You know, not everyone's cup of tea, but since then their model seems to have gone down and down in number. And I don't know why. Um, but if I was paying the monthly fee, I'd probably be a bit disappointed this month, if I'm honest. Uh, that again though, this model is really cool. I must say that is a really cool model. I like that a lot. Um, and this, yeah, this is all part from the return to the silent village. But yeah, that one has a lot of appeal to me. Really very cool. Yeah, that one is cool. This model is good. Again, it's got that sort of Azrael feel again from Diablo for me. So not totally original. But I know Creature Caster do such good sculpts. They do such good stuff. So I sort of really found it. And again, I put it on here. You know, this is, they're actually charging more. They're charging $12 a month compared to a lot of the others of $10 and 
plus you only get 30% off their store most of the others offer 50% right so in terms of value for money right now where creature caster are I don't think they're nowhere near as good as the other tribes you know and the reason I left creature caster their tribe was I I bought the barbarian models and this was the other thing that I was disappointed in they only came in pre-supported there wasn't an unsupported version and I like to do the supports myself move them change them hollow them if I need to if I do them bigger which I was at the time and I actually discussed it with them and said look you know I'm really disappointed with this you know everyone else offers pre-supported and supported and the guy wasn't very friendly at first but in the end he said okay no worries I'll put the unsupported versions up now this was about five months ago and I've checked regularly and they've never updated to put those unsupported models up so I've, I've been really disappointed with Creature Caster certainly in their releases and you know I don't know whether they do unsupported models now but when I look at what you get for paying them you know it says either 10 small models or one large models or a series of larger models right this month's release is only seven models like I said and you're paying more than some of the other tribes and they're only giving you 30% off now most of the other tribes are giving you 50% off their store so I, I would say they need to have a bit of a review of what they're releasing and their costing model and and all that but like I said this this is purely my opinion and I'm, I'm disappointed because I love creature caster models they're, they're just so good but I think they've got work to do on their tribes and patreons and I know they've only been going about six months with this now so you know it's they're still in a teething phase but I, I wish they'd improve some of this stuff so we come to the nail on the head time guys what do you make of this release for creature caster hit or miss now that you've listened to my rant okay mrs brush master it's a miss it's another miss And don't get me wrong, guys, I'm not trying to steer you in a direction. I'm just giving you my opinion. Um, but like I said, it, it's very difficult not to compare. I mean, when you look at this release and then you look at all the models you got from Archville and Games, for instance, you, you know, it's it's worlds apart. Absolutely worlds apart. So, you know, that, that's the disappointment for me really is right we're going to move on so i mentioned this just a minute ago this is another one i joined last month which you've probably seen the giants i printed off ah oh, thank you tony well that's what you're going to get then i'm going to give it to you um so i joined cast and play last month because they did a release of giants which was some of the best giants i've ever seen anywhere they I just thought they were wonderful. So I joined, got their welcome pack and blah, blah, blah. Really, really, I really quite like their stuff. Oh, sorry about the ads, bud, but it's the only way I can make some money. So this is the big picture of their release. And anyone who plays lizard men or anything like this, you know, scaly warriors are going to find appeal to this because I, I think a lot of these models are really cool um i mean you look at this guy he's really good ah no 
Um, but yeah, the guy with the bow is cool. You also get a selection of bases. Again, really good. Well done, cast and play. Another great model here. Uh, you also get the weapons put out separately. So you can use them as base and bits or chop and change. These models are really cool. Uh, you also get some scenery bits, totems. These models are cool. You get the flying models, which are, they're okay. You get like a carrier, a big brontosaurus type thing, which is different. And this one, the centerpiece model, like the guy on the saurus type model, so cool. Really appeals to me, that model. And I, I'm not really a lizard man fan. But I think this release is really very cool. So here is the the big dude, the main centerpiece model. I've seen they got someone to paint this for them as well, and it was really cool. So that model is is just terrific. I love all the strapping around its mouth. Yeah, very very cool. I like that one a lot. There's the totem poles they put in. They're pretty cool. Not my thing, but they're pretty cool. And again, if you were using this in a big game or a scene, this is excellent. Not my thing, but I think it's cool. Flying ones, they weren't the best for me, but at least they've got some cool different poses in. I like this one that's landed. That's very cool. And the bases, see, I, again, we, we come to this again, more of the companies, do the bases. You know, even do like this, separate brace, bases where you can choose different ones. It's a very good idea, I like that a lot. And here's some of the models, these are really cool. I like these. They're almost like um, Saurus Indians. They sort of give, give that a feeling to me but these are cool I like these are you guys liking these I like this guy this guy is standing on the rock firing the arrow very dynamic he's very cool yeah yeah I do too Tony and it, it's weird because I'm not a Lizard Man fan normally, although I painted one recently of the Archville and Games one. Um, but these, I think, are just really cool models. I mean, look at this guy howling or whatever he's doing, and this guy is cool. And this one. I mean, these are like fodder models, but they're really very good. And this one with the big things on. Oh, cool. Uh, these ones I like a lot. I like this model. I think it's really cool. This one's good. Yeah, they're, they're very good. These ones are cool. A bit more dinosaur-y, these ones look. Um, but yeah, you get all these weapons as well, which I think is a really nice touch. Yeah, and those were those. So I'm going through a little bit quicker now because we're, time's getting on. Um, so what do you think of the, the Saurus release from Cast and Play, guys? Are we going hit, hit or miss? <coughs> Yeah, they're a hit for me. And um, I know I'm ranting and harping on, guys. But I am going to say again, I'm going to compare this. I know the sculpting level may not be the same, but the difference between this and the Creature Caster release, this is worlds apart. Absolutely worlds apart. Yeah, you look how many models and bits you get in here. 
Uh, it's just, just a different world, you know. Uh, no comparison. And I mean, if if I could, you know, the shoe on the other foot, if if those seven models from Creature Caster were all absolutely one-off outstanding sculpts and you were saying wow this is absolutely worth the money there each sculpt is fantastic i wouldn't have so much of a problem with it but the first five they released they just looked all pretty similar and pretty ordinary so unlike their earlier release like i said the barbarians which was like 11 of them i think and each one was fantastic so I had no problem with the being only 10 or 11 models because each model was superb. But like this release, and I think the last release they did was similar as well. Just not, not that great. So actual models. Right, so this is one, I only had a quick look this afternoon and this was the latest release. So the first up we've got a, it's like a librarian terminator and I actually really like this model I don't know if he's a it wouldn't be a space wolf would he oh right okay well it, it's it's the only latest ones I could find so I might be a little bit behind I'll, next week I'll put more effort into finding actual models but I sort of, I only sort of put up yesterday I was going to do this and had to really rely on SDLs. So excuse me if I'm a little bit behind, but is this a Space Wolf librarian? I'm just thinking because of all the runes, or are they just magic symbols? All oh, right, okay. My, my only thing about this I hate, and they did it on a previous librarian model, when they paint these pipings this yellow. Ah, okay. This yellow, to me, just looks awful on this tubing. It just looks so plasticky. The rest of the model, I think, is painted quite nicely, but this yellow is horrible. So, ugh. Oh well, my opinion only. Um, and the next one I found is probably older again with some Tyranid models. I thought these were quite cool actually. I quite like these. These are much better than the like the Termagants and Hormagont models they have. These have got a better sculpting and much more appealing to me these are than the like the box ones you get so i thought these were really cool really very good i think they are yeah but i, I think they're really good models you know these ones have got a much better dynamic presence than those the hormagons or termagons they put in every box Hey Wolfie, how are you going? Yeah, not bad, bud. We're just getting the end to the end of the first review show. We've only got a couple of minutes left. But yeah, this has been a, a chatty show, just talking about SDLs mainly. So, but it's been good fun. I've enjoyed it. It's been really cool. Ah, the next one up, we've got a Blood Bowl character, I think, who is quite cool. Not sure what the face is going on, but he's got little glasses on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Any Blood Bowl players out there? No, I haven't. It's it's something I did play a little while ago, which I thought was cool. 
I think that's my last one, guys. Yeah, I only got three of those. But what I'm going to do is I've still got more of the STL categories I've got. I'll, I'll save them for next Monday and we'll, we'll try this again. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of the show. What do you think about this sort of podcast type show, guys? Did you enjoy it? You want me to do it again? Oh, cool. Ah, thank you, Carver. Oh, thank you, G-Miss. Much appreciated. Yeah, well, I'll be honest with you. I, and someone, I'm quite happy for people to prove me wrong. But I don't think I've actually seen a review thing of monthly releases for STLs. And I just thought it would be nice to look through them, talk about them. Good morning. And, you know, show them to you guys so I can open some of these companies up to you guys who haven't seen them. Ah, thank you, Carver. Um, yeah, so I thought it might be interesting just to look at the models, talk about the companies, see what you get talk about what's good and bad and hopefully I did I did invite three or four of the STL companies to come and join us today yeah we just had a quick look bud um, I'll try and get more for next week more actual models um, yeah so but I think the time might be a bit off so I may move the time next week to maybe eight or nine o'clock for me in the evening so forward two or three hours um, but I don't want to cut everyone in Australia or Asia out. So finding the right time might be a bit difficult. Um, but I will publish this on YouTube as well. So hopefully people can come back and watch it on there. Um, so Zelika, we've just been through these three models. So a librarian, which we all thought was... Oh, what do we think of the GW ones, guys? Are they hits? Uh. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, well pointed out, Zelika. I, um, I didn't notice that. But I guess it's just the way your mind works, bud. Hmm? But yeah, you see what I mean? Or see what Zelika means? It definitely does look like that now. I'll not be able to unsee that now. <laughs> uh. Right then, guys. With that, I'm going to say thank you and good night. Thanks for joining me for the first one. Um, I enjoyed it very much, so I'll do it again next Monday. So put it in your diaries. Um, and if you want to comment, let me know what you think, what you felt, what I could change, what we could do differently. Just let me know. You know, I'm on stream nearly every day. Um, so yeah, always, always happy to hear people's opinions. So thanks for joining us, guys. And I'll see you around in the streams. And we'll do this again next week.